hi students uh, let us continue with the subject data structures so the next topic is the heap trees so in the previous video i explained about the avl trees and now let's see the heap tree actually what is a heap tree heap tree is nothing but it is a complete it is a complete binary tree the one thing is it is complete a binary tree so what is a binary tree we know that the binary tree means a children at most a node is having at most two children then you can say it is a binary tree okay so whenever that last level the child's uh, the tree suppose if you take this 20 30 40 23 26 you can say this is a complete binary tree okay and uh, you can't say uh, 20 30 40 50 so this is not a complete binary tree it is not complete binary tree okay so this is the difference between the complete binary tree and the uh, non-complete binary tree so whatever the children you are having uh, still you can say this is also a complete binary tree okay so it should be the levels you have to check the levels whether it following the same levels or not now coming to the heat trees so i said whatever the tree you are constructing you have to make sure that that the tree should be in the form of complete binary tree that condition you have to follow that in the heat trees whenever you are inserting the elements you have to check that tree is in complete binary tree or not the heap trees there are two types of heap, heap trees two types of heap trees so what are they min heap max heap the two types of heap trees are min heap and max heap so first let me write the definition of a heap heap tree so what is a heap tree i said heap tree should maintain a complete binary tree but i didn't explain what is a heap tree heap tree is a special balanced binary tree it is a special balanced binary tree data structure it is a complete uh, special binary tree data structure where root node is compared root node is compared with its children and you have to arrange accordingly arrange accordingly so it is a special balanced tree uh, balanced binary tree where root node is compared so whatever the root node is there so this should be compared with the children node it should be compared with its children node and you have to arrange accordingly so how i am going to arrange according that so i said heap tree is of two types one is the min heap and another is max heap so now i am arranging the uh, elements the root node is compared with its children if it is a heap tree a minimum heap tree how i am going to do minimum heap tree means the value of parent node that is a root node the value of parent node is less than or equal to either of its children either of its children means the root node should be less than either of its children so let me take here uh, i said value of parent node that is a root node or a parent node both are the same the value of parent node is less it should be less or else you take it's 11 suppose 11 and when compared to the either of the children's so here the root node should be less means all the children are greater than the parent node that you call it as a min heap then whatever the max heap max heap means the value of parent node is greater than 
greater than or equal to to its children so what how can i arrange that uh, max heap so let's take these are the notes so here you need to write uh, the parent should be greater 55 11 and you have to remember that the parent should be greater you have to arrange like that parent should be greater and 9 8 33 okay this is for the for these two children this is a parent the parent should be greater and for this parent this is a two children the parent should be greater that is a max heap so that's why i'm saying that heap tree is a special balanced binary tree where root node this is a parent node that is a root node is compared with its children and arranged accordingly so you have to arrange the numbers according to that whether you have taken min heap means the uh, parent node should be less than the children node and if you are constructing the max heap means the parent node should be greater greater and rest of the should be less than the parent that you have to be remember so now let me construct one heap tree by inserting the elements i'm going to construct one heap tree heap tree insertion so first you have to choose whether you are following the max heap or min heap and uh, let's let me take the max heap so max heap means the parent should be parent is larger than all children you have to arrange like that and heap condition means it has to insert elements to make tree as complete binary tree so this thing you have to be remember that so whatever the element you are inserting at that stage you have to think whether it is maintaining complete binary tree or not so let me take one example the elements are 44 33 77 11 55 88 66 so these are the elements now i am constructing the heap tree now let's see first is 44 44 in the binary tree always insert uh, the element starts with the left side so next element is 33 next is 77 so now check the condition my parent should be greater than the children so this side is okay but here the parent is less than the children 77 is greater than 44 so just swap it now 77 33 44 now try to insert next the next is 11 77 33 44 so first i said you insert the element left side so this becomes complete binary tree now you have to insert the element at left side 11 so 33 is larger than 11 so no need to swap now next is 55 77 33 11 so where you need to insert this time you want to make the tree as a complete binary tree so let this uh, node should be complete this root should be complete so just insert 55 here but here this is not in the form of max heap so because uh, the root is less than the child so just swap it just swap it because 55 is greater than 33 swap so now it becomes 77 55 11 33 44 okay so next insert 88 so where you have to insert this is this becomes complete binary so now you have to make this tree as a uh, this subtree as a complete tree 77 55 11 33 44 so where i had to insert first i had to insert left side but this here the parent is less than the child so just you need to swap the numbers so just swap because 88 is greater than 44 just swap so after swapping this is 77 55 11 33 
and this is uh, 88 and 44 okay but again you can observe here this two are violating the max c because this is less and here this is the parent uh, this is the larger the parent should be always greater than the child so 88 is greater than 77 so you need to swap again so before inserting another element again you need to swap 88 55 so the one condition is you had to check the complete binary tree and another condition is you had to uh, check whether it is uh, following the max heap rule or not 33 44 okay now this is greater than all and for this root these two when compared to these two this is greater and when compared to 77 uh, 44 the 77 is greater now the still the which number is remaining so so far we have completed 44 33 77 11 55 88 66 so these are the numbers we completed inserted now let's insert 66 so where you insert 66 you have to make the tree as a complete binary tree so you, this time you need to insert right side of the 77 88 55 77 11 33 44 66 now check uh, whether it is following the heap max heap or not so parent is greater than the children okay here the parent is greater than the children okay and this parent is greater than all children's okay so now this is a heap tree and which is complete binary tree so this is how you are going to insert the elements by following the heap rule thank you